We now present another episode in a radio series based on the world-famous BBC comedy success, Steptoe and Son. With Harry H. Corbett as Harold and Wilfred Bramble as Albert. <laughs> and this week, come dancing. <laughs> oh, oh, God, what a life. That's the truth, it's not even time to go to bed yet. Look at him honking his head off. <coughs> oh, what a depressing house. It don't only look like a pigsty, it sounds like one. <laughs> Wish I'd gone to Empton Court now with Dolly Clackett. I wonder if Henry VIII used to get fed up like this at Empton Court. <coughs> I bet he didn't have M. Bullin spark out on a set he driving him home. Mind you, that's probably why he had her head off. Got bored stiff one Sunday afternoon and chop, chop, and that was her gone. No, no, I mean, it, it couldn't have been bored. I mean, all the people he had around him, Cramer, Thomas Cromwell, Paul Schofield, all that mob. <laughs> Great minds, stimulating company, don't it? <laughs> oh, God, blimey. He'd be the first one for a chopper, he would. I don't know, though, you could get through that neck with a fish slice. <laughs> Hampton Court. No, no, it couldn't have been like this. No, there'd be minstrels playing. Ladies in waiting, all showing out. Courtiers camping up and down the stairs with their coloured stockings on. <laughs> Aha! Who is this approaching the royal throne? Me noble lord Sussex, Wessex and Essex. And a wee bit Brahms and Liszt by the look of it. <laughs> Aha! What news from Canterbury, my lord? <laughs> ah, shut up, you old sweat. <laughs> and what is this? You bear a present from Cardinal Wolsey? Another pair of socks, no doubt. <laughs> oh, I'm bored. Bored, bored, bored. Anyway, is bored, bored. Bring on the court jesters. Bring on the court jesters. Da -dum, da -dum, dum 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 I say, I say, I say. What's grey with a big trunk? I don't know. What is grey with a big trunk? A mouse going on holiday. Chop his bloody head off. Oh, get <laughs> right, come on, lads. A quick gallop round Bushy Park. Yes, that's it. Deer hunting. A quick land straight up his arras. <laughs> Back home onto the fire for a roast up. Marvellous. Your bones flying all over the room, hitting the walls from all directions. Great goblets of claret coming out of your ear holes. Bodices and periwinkles are being ripped off. Grab yourself a quick handful and straight up to bed. Whoa. Oh, that's the way we should live. Oh. Oh, what a life. <laughs> <laughs> He's not bothered. Look at him. The playboy of the Western world. <laughs> he looks forward to Sundays, he does. A square foot of Yorkshire pudding, half a tin of Bartlett pears, and off to Kip. <laughs> Life's so simple for him, isn't it? He's got no worries, no problems. He don't realise that while he has been asleep, Another half a million Chinese has been born. <laughs> he don't realise that. Oh, I wish I was a wooden head like him. Smug, self-satisfied, complacent, narrow-minded, bigoted, little git. <laughs> oh, I'd love to put a pillow over his ugly little face. <laughs> Shall I do it? Just for the kicks? Yes, yes, why not? Why did you do it, Mr. Steptoe? I was bored, me lad. Nothing more, nothing less. I cared nothing for him. I stamped out his life as I would a fly, because I'm superior. I'm superior to everybody. I care not for your petty rules, Taha. Uh, uh, Dead. Dead, are you awake? Uh, Dead. You, you didn't hear me, did you? No, no, of course he didn't. Rotten, stinging little cloth he is. <laughs> you just fraud! Foxy bird, I'll throttle it! Where's that Emma? Come on out! I'll kill you! Come on out! All right, then stay there, and you'll never come out again. Where those nails? Right. 
Hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing with my trunk? Stop it! I'm walling it up. I can't stand it anymore. All day long, every hour, that stupid stuffed bird pops out. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo! It's driving me mad, mad, mad! Mad, 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 mad! It's driving me mad, mad! Stop it, stop it, you smash it! Leave it alone! What's the matter with you? What did you bring it in here for? I hate it. I can't stand cuckoos. I'll smash it! Let go of the hammer! No, 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 don't hit me! I'm not a cuckoo, I'm your dad! I'm your dad! Hi? My, my dad? My dad what? My dad. Where am I? Dad? Are you all right, Gerald? Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. I don't know what came over me. Oh, oh, you nearly got one across your beak there, didn't you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. What's the matter with you? You're not ill, are you? I'm all right. I just can't stand sudden noises, that's all. Makes me jump. Sound like a clock. It's diabolical, that thing. Every hour it comes out squawking his head off. I sit here for 55 minutes waiting for it to come out again. <laughs> Bracing myself. Then I forget all about it. Then bang, out he comes again. Cuckoo, 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 he's up me potty, potty! Blimey, your nerves must be in a bad way. There's nothing wrong with my nerves. You leave me alone. It's not natural getting upset like that over a cuckoo clock. I think you ought to go and see a doctor. There's nothing wrong with me. You're upset, aren't you? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're upset about something. I'm not upset about anything. Yes, you are. I know what he is. You're upset because I guessed more prices than you did in going for a song. Ah, oh, that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Do you think I would get upset over a stupid thing that... Besides, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> you didn't. If you cast your mind back, you will remember we was level pegging ten points each. Yeah. Then the last item come up and you said it was worth £7,500. That's right. And I said it was worth 7200 And how much did Arthur Nagus say it was worth? 25 quid. <laughs> well, there you are. I was the nearest. 15.10, I won. You can't count that. We was both wrong. But you was more wrong than me. And that makes all the difference in business. If a bloke had come in here offering us that, you would have given him 7,500 quid, wouldn't you? Whereas me, I would have got it 300 quid cheaper. <laughs> it's still only worth 25 quid. That is not a point. I was nearer than you, so shut up. Well, there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with me, so don't keep on. Are you regular? Mind your own business. <laughs> Only that sometimes puts people in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad mood. Well, you're very irritable. I'm not irritable. I am never... Stop fiddling with your watch! I was only winding it up. You're always winding it up. It is supposed to go for eight days. Leave it alone. You've got some very annoying habits, you have. Honestly. You'd get on the Archbishop of Canterbury's Bristol's, you would. <laughs> what do you have to wake up for? Go back to sleep. Do you want a cup of tea? No. It's just as well. We haven't got any milk. Then why did you ask? I forgot. Oh, God. What's wrong, Harold? I don't like seeing you like this. Is it me? No. I ain't got nothing to do with you, Dad. I don't, just, just leave me alone. I'll, I'll be all right. Well, why don't you go out then? Why don't you go down to the Skinner's Arms? Don't want to go down to the Skinner's Arms. I'm fed up with the Skinner's Arms. Same faces, same jokes, same opinions, if they've got any. It's a rotten pub. It must be the worst pub in London. Well, go down to the Beehive then. The Beehive? The Beehive? Have you been down there lately? It's diabolical. It's been discovered, that place has. The half a bit of brigade has moved in. The Monty Python mob. <laughs> you can't move in a car park for Triumph Spitfires. Oh, what are you having, Daphne, darling? Oh, righty ho. Oh, six hours of cooking, please. Oh, I say, get me a Scotch egg whilst you're there, Rodney. Ha 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 ha. Oh, jolly God. The future ruling classes they are, mate. I'd like to smash their smug little faces in. I think I prefer the Hells Angels to them. Well. What about the ship and shovel, then? You're joking. It's full of Hells Angels. <laughs> Not in the lounge. I don't like the lounge. They've got the amateur talent contest tonight. I don't care. You could do your impression of Tom Jones. I don't want to do my impression of Tom Jones. It always goes well. Some of them down there reckon you're better than he is. Then how come I never wins it, then? 
That little twit always wins it. That little puff in the see-through shirt. <laughs> the landlord fancies him, that's why. That's ridiculous him doing Tom Jones as well, on the same bill. I mean, it's not right. I thought he was going to do Lulu the way he walked up there. <laughs> Perhaps he won't be there tonight. I'm not going down to the ship and shovel, so don't keep on. There's bingo at the Odeon. Oh, for God's sake, don't turn it in, leave me alone. Perhaps you're suffering from night starvation. What do you mean by that? <laughs> ah, that's it, isn't it? Of course it is. Beg your pardon? It's a bird. I don't know what you're talking Some about. Some bird's giving you the elbow. It's got nothing to do with a bird. Oh, yes, it is. I don't know what you mean. I should have guessed. Well, that explains it. He's been blown out by a bird. Not right. All right, talk to bird. Now you know. You're satisfied. All right. Now, I don't want to talk about it. When'd she blow you out? She hasn't blown me out. Well, what are you hanging around here for? Go out and give her one. <laughs> Father... I would deem it a great favour if you would refrain from using that kind of language when referring to Jane. She is an extremely nice person. You mean, not like the slags you normally go out with? <laughs> if you must put it like that, no. She's not like the slags I usually go out with. She's a very sweet and lovely girl. And I happen to be... Extremely fond of her. Then why aren't you out with her instead of sitting round here making my life a misery? Go out with your Joan or June or whatever her name is. Jane. Jane, then. I can't. She's gone dancing. Who? With, with Tarzan? <laughs> <laughs> she's not going with anybody. She goes on her own. Well, that should be a laugh. <laughs> she's a member of a dancing club. She's mad about dancing. She goes dancing every night. That's all she lives for. Dancing. That's the trouble. Why? I can't dance. <laughs> That's me scrubbed out, isn't it? Yeah, lots of blokes can't dance. Well, I told her I could, didn't I? I told her I was a gold medalist. <laughs> I told her I'd... Dance for South London on television, didn't I? Well, what you going to tell her that for? Oh, well, you know how it is. When you meet a bird, you try to establish some common ground, don't you? You know, just chat her up, lay a bit of sand down. And I just got carried away, that's all. Now she's expecting me to partner her in the West London finals. Foxtrot, Quickstep and the Argentinian tango. I'm still struggling with the okie Kalki. <laughs> I'll just have to forget about her, that's all. I can't see her again. It's all over. That's all there is to it. It's all over before it started. The best looking bird I ever met in my whole life. Oh, well, I'll get over it. I expect. You don't half give up easy, don't you? You want everything under you on a plate, don't you? You have to work for things in this life. If you want a bird, you've got to put yourself out a bit, haven't you? I met a lovely girl once. Potola, she was. A what? A potola. I didn't mess about. I learned how to pothole, didn't I? <laughs> well worth it, it was, too. It did all right, did you? What? I bet I'm the only bloke around here who's had it to weigh 600 feet below Wiltshire. <laughs> <laughs> You take my tip. Yes, Have a go. Learn how to dance. Uh, Have some lessons. Uh, no, no, no. I can't learn to dance. We're not my age. Not in front of all them people. But I feel all right, Burke. All right, then. I'll teach you. You? Yeah. I don't only do pot I used to put myself around. I don't be ridiculous. I don't want to learn to do the lancers. <laughs> don't you kid yourself, mate. I can do all the modern stuff. I often have a thrash around down at the Derby and Joan Club. Some of them old biddies down there. By the time I finish twisting with them, their corsets are on the wrong way. <laughs> Come on, move the table. Oh, well, we, we'll give you a crash course. No, no, By the end of the week, you'll I'm make Lionel mind. Blair look like a baby elephant. I'm... Come on, stand here. Next me. No, I don't want to. Stand here. Oh, all right. Now, we'll start off with the waltz. It's, it's very simple. Watch me. Forward with the left. Foot sideways with the right foot, close left foot to right foot, forward with the right foot, sideways with the left foot, close right foot to left foot. Now, you do it, side by side. Hold my hand. 
Forward with the left foot. Forward with the left foot. Sideways with the right foot. S sideways with the right foot. Close left foot to right foot. Close the left foot to the right foot. Forward with the right and foot. Sideways forward with the left foot. Forward with the right foot. Close sideways right with the left foot. Sideways with the right foot. Sideways with the right foot. Hang on, hang on. Well, look at my legs, they're all twisted. <laughs> and that can't be right, can it? Oh, yeah, oh, now you're right foot, you nitch. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah right one, foot. two. It's a pity she's not a potholder. I think we'd stand a better chance. Oh, well, it's no good, Dad. I just ain't got no natural rhythm. Don't give up. We've only just started. Come over here. Put your arms around me. I didn't know you cared. Yeah. <laughs> and round me waist, the other end up here. Right. But if she's wearing a low-cut dress, where do you put your hand? <laughs> <laughs> low-cut at the back. <laughs> where do you put your hand? <laughs> Come on. Well, I don't know. You don't put it anywhere. You rest oh. your thumb lightly against her vertebrae Ooh. and then keep the rest to yourself, like so. Right? Same steps. Away we go. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hold me tighter. What? One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Taking you home tonight. Two, three. After two, three. the one, dancing two, three. is through. Well, you haven't been there yet, mate. Oh, one, two, three, the lucky one, boy was two, coming one, your two, three, way two, three, to kiss two, you goodnight on two, your door. Two, three, two, oh, cool. Kiss me. <laughs> Concentrate on what you're doing. Do you come here often? I'm sorry, Dad. What did I do wrong? You trod on me foot, that's what you did wrong. Go oh, blimey, I'll have toes like globe artichokes in the morning. Honestly, it's easier turning the horse around. All right, then, let's forget it. I said it was no good. No, 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 we'll give it another go. Look, take your Wellington boots off. <laughs> Right. First position. After three. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, 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 one. Oh, how we dance. Too free. Too free. We wait. Too free. We dance. And we dance. Cause the room had no bed. Ha ha! Oh, shut up. Keep the rhythm going. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three and... Two, three. <laughs> That's it. Slide. Slide. That's it. I slow, 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 turn around to get slow, slide. Quick, quick, slow. 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 Very good, it's oh, coming on coming nicely. In. You're improving every day. Excuse me. One pound twenty pence, please. I didn't catch you on Friday. Oh, good morning, Milkman. Morning. We was dancing. Yes. The Argentinian tango. Very nice. That's all we was doing. Just dancing. It's nothing to do with me, sir. What you do in the privacy of your own home is entirely up to you. <laughs> My job's to deliver milk. My dad's teaching me how to dance. I see. I was just having a quick lesson before I go to work. Very good idea. Go to work on a dance. <laughs> well, I'm going to suggest that to my missus. Quick for leader after breakfast. Lovely. Just how much do I owe you? One pound twenty pence. If you've got your handbag, Andy. How would you like a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> just a joke, sir. Just a joke. Well... Watch it. One pound, twenty pence, I believe. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, uh, just a suggestion, sir. Now, what now? When you come out of the back breaker, huh? instead of the normal turn, why not try the run round? The run round? Yeah, look, here, What's I'll it? show you. Look, put your arms around me. Now. Turn around. Now, run around me. Then off again. I'm on round. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Very good, very good. That's it. Always slays on that one, does. Oh, that's <laughs> good, isn't it? Oh, I like yeah. that one. Hi, yeah. who's teaching them, you or me? 
Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just trying to be helpful. Well, I mind your own business and get back on your round. <coughs> Thank you, pardon. Good morning. I could have danced all night. I could... Sulksy pillock. <laughs> Wait till he finds out what's in his empties tomorrow morning. <laughs> I must admit, that was a very good step he took me. Rubbish, it's much too flash for you. It's all right here on the carpet. You tried on a slippery dance floor, mate, and you'll finish up with your head through the drum. Right, now, what have you learned so far? The waltz, quick step, the tango, the mods and march, and simple Simon says, and that's not bad in the three days. I still can't get over you knowing all them dances. No, I've been dancing all my life. I've always had educated feet. Born dancing, I was. I was going to take it up for a living. I remember when I was 13 years old, I sneaked out of the house one night and went down to Shepherd's Bush Empire and auditioned for the pantomime, Humpty Dumpty. And when I'd finished, Mary Lloyd came up to me. Mary and, Lloyd? Yeah, Mary Lloyd, mate. And she said to me, What's your name, my little man? Albert, I said. Well, Albert, she said, come and sit on my knee. I want to talk to you. Get out of it. She did. I always remember that. Big Bristol, she had. <laughs> Albert, she said, in all my years on the stage, I've never seen anything like that. You moved across that stage like Sarah Bernhardt. Kate, Sarah Bernhardt had a wooden leg. <laughs> did she? That rotten cow. <laughs> and all these years I thought she'd fancied me. I wondered why we'd never heard of anymore. Yeah, what does she know about dancing anyway? I should think a lot. Rubbish. Look, son, what I'm giving you is the straight up 100% Victor Sylvester. Believe me, I know what it's all about. And now I'm going to show you the cha cha cha. When you've mastered that, you've done the lot. You can take your rightful place in any ballroom in the land. Right, what's this? <laughs> one, two, three, yes, and one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, that's it, then. I've told you all I know. It's up to you now. Good luck, son. Thanks, Dad. Gold medal standard jar now. Oh, I hope so. It means a lot to Jane, winning these finals. I hope I don't let her down. You won't let her down. You're a lovely dancer. You've got natural rhythm. Yeah. Just relax, listen to the tempo, flash the choppers as you go past the judges, and if you fall, just, just don't worry. <laughs> just pick yourself up and carry on. I'm frightened, Dad. If she's half as good as you are, you'll skate it. Yes, well, well I'd better go. Well, we takes the floor at half past eight. Are you sure you won't come? No, I might make you nervous. I'll wait here and we'll have a drink out of the cup when you get back. Oh. Cheerio, Dad, and thanks again. Cheerio, son. Here, show us your fist tail before you go. Right, one, two, three, boop, 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 Oh, God! Oh. What's wrong? Oh, look what I've trodden in. <laughs> oh, why don't you keep this yard clean? Oh, that's luck, that is. Leave it. I'm going to the orchard ballroom pearly, not a barn dance. <laughs> well, Tata, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Good luck, son. I hope you win. That's the first time I've been able to help him on all these years. I'll teach him the Pasadobre next week. Yum dilly dum dilly dum dilly dum 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 dilly dum dilly dum dilly dum dum da. Hello, you're back early. Where's the bird? Where's the cup? I haven't got either of them, have I? They've both gone to somebody else. Well, what happened then? We were disqualified. I saw your fault. Mine? What did I do? You taught me the woman's steps, you daft pillock. <laughs> I didn't. You did. It was a farce. 
We stepped onto the floor. I took hold of her. The band started up and we both went backwards. <laughs> we, we finished up at opposite ends of the pool room. I mean, the band couldn't play for laughing. She burst into tears and her mother belted me round the ear while with a roll cop in a ballroom express. <laughs> I've never been so humiliated in my life. You did it deliberately. You knew something like this was going to happen. I didn't. I never thought about it. I've only ever taught birds before. That's another romance that messed up for me. Eight days of non-stop practice. And when it's all over, the only person I can dance with is you. <laughs> oh, what good is that? Oh, I was only trying to help. Well, no. In future, mind your own business. You keep away from me. I just won't be left alone. I've had you up to here. I'm in a bad mood. If you know what's good for you, if you wants to keep on living, keep out of sight. Don't make a noise. But rather not a sound. <laughs> Don't even breathe heavy. Understand? Yes. <laughs> right. I'm going to bed. Good night. Oh. <laughs> Good night. I'll kill that magic eye dog! I'll get my children! I'll kill it! I'll kill it! I'll kill it! <laughs> Good night, Peter. You've been listening to Wilfred Bramble and Harry H. Corbett as Steptoe and Son with uh, Clifford Norgate as The Milkman, written and adapted for radio by Ray Galton and Alan Simpson and produced by Bobby Jay. (laughs) 